Uh, Morgan is here. Hi, Morgan. Hi. What's you up, can, y'all? Morgan, hey, yo. you can take your plaque back, by the way. Ooh, yeah. I yeah. can take it off the wall. Yeah, you can put it in your uh, new studio. They just uh, redid her studio that she works out of. It looks great. It's yeah, it looks very nice. nice. Yeah. They did kind of what they did to our studio mm-hmm. uh, at the end of last year. Shiny and new. Everything works. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Go figure. <laughs> so mean, far. Mostly. Yeah, yeah we're sorta. getting through it. Yep. Oh, things aren't working? Well, maybe. There's a, a hiccup We're here and there. We're troubleshooting oh, okay. a little bit. That's fine. Oh, you're going to have that. For the yeah. most part, though. No yeah, complaints. Yeah, that's good. Day one jitters. Yeah. Yeah. What is or your like social error. media like video light not working or something? <laughs> yeah. yeah. My, yeah. Ring, my ring light in there. Your <laughs> ring light. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I went and got my hair cut the other day. Like at a legit barber shop. Uh-huh. You know, that's got like the barber pole outside and the whole oh, thing. Wow. And one of the guys in there cutting hair had like two ring lights. Yeah, I see that a lot like, in barber shops. Oh, ring lights. That's for chicks. It yeah. is. Yeah. Like I would never go to that guy to get my hair cut if he's gonna have his ring lights on and taking video of him cutting hair. I don't like. That's not the kind of place oh. that dudes go to. <laughs> he was doing social media because yeah. sometimes I'll just see them. They just, just have the have no, no. As just, for just lighting. No, right. Yeah. right in the middle of the ring light, there was a little holder for the for the phone. Yeah, like yeah. a lot of. I'm them like, nah, dude. It. Can't imagine. Don't want to sosh your hair. Yeah, <laughs> like, come on, dude. <laughs> Just here for a haircut, beard trim. Yeah, and I want a straight razor on my neck. That's right. Hot lather. Love that. Yeah, let's put down the ring light and grab that hot lather. <laughs> right, and sharpen it on a leather strap. Yeah. Well, Morgan uh, lost three pounds from all her puking the yes, other day. Yes, I did. Oh, Congratu- well, three Morgan, congratulations. Pounds. Thank you so much. Oh, man. She told me yesterday. You know what? It was all worth it. All yeah. worth it. It really was, yeah. Yeah. And well, Minnesota's great. little comment about great. All diarrhea. The, all the diarrhea, yeah. That helped. Yeah, factual. Cool. So, yeah. yeah. Whatever. Good Whatever works, you, you know Lucky. what I'm saying? Okay. Lucky. All right. Well, Morgan went to another place for some morgasms. And I since sure it did. and since it is uh the month of May now, with Mother's Day, flower shops seem great. Like a great yeah, idea. And so she went to uh, a few different florists, right? I did. Yeah, I actually went to six in total. Oh. Six? Yeah, I. What? I, I don't know. Seabass inspired me with, with the Seven yeah. Eleven thing. Like, I wanted to get kicked out of a floral shop, mm. and unfortunately, I didn't. But that's oh, okay. That's good because they're nice. <laughs> they are very nice. That's the thing. Everyone <laughs> that I've come across and you know made these noises in front of, they've been very helpful <laughs> and not judgmental of me. I'm like, what the that. heck's going on? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Maybe more <laughs> people are orgasming in public than we know. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. I need to find my tribe then. I Where guess so. Well, Where you, are you, gasming tribe? Right. Well, you just have like, uh, I think I think that industry just attracts probably like a lot of like passive aggressive people. Or, you yeah. know, like mm-hmm. they're non-confrontational, it's, passive aggressive. Yeah, That's true. Flowers. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so uh, run us through what you did here. So this first shop I went to was probably the nicest one that I went to of them all. It was huge. You know, they have the fridges in the uh, floral shops when you walk in, right? Uh Well, some of them do. This fridge was like, you know, you could kind of take a lap. It was bigger than the Mm. Like a big walk-in one. Yeah, Yeah. it was a walk-in for sure. Uh, So, yeah, this was the first one. She was a little too helpful, so I didn't really get in as many orgasms as I wanted to. but (laughs) (laughs) But But I eased into it. She was just really right. doing her job too well. Awkward moments with Morgan. How can I help you today? I need some help. Um, I want to put together like a bouquet uh-huh. for my grandma. Yes, for sure. You want to come into the fridge? Yeah. That's where the action is. Yes. That's, that's where, where the action yeah. is. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yes. Uh-huh. Little do you know. section there's a lot of very pretty ones, like variety of colors. Like- right. But I also want something that like smells good. Uh, yes, so, so my the larger lilies are the smelly ones. Uh, these ones are the, uh, like there's two different kinds here. So these ones are the ones that don't smell. The rest pretty much have these scent. These smell? Okay. Yes. yes. Ooh. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. And they'll smell more when they get out to the warmth, too, like when they warm up. Uh-huh. Yeah. yeah, and what else do I have that has scent to it? Uh, my grandfather's like about to pass away. Oh, like, I'm so sorry. Like one foot in the grave type thing. It's okay. okay. So I want to, you know, get something prepared for my grandma when that time comes got you and she loves flowers and smells of flowers all that so i want something that you know will obviously smell good to her remind her of grandpa all yeah, that. yeah yeah so yes so lily's a good scent good base for sure okay. lily's are great um <laughs> <laughs> scent oh, i don't know much more with scent right now because i have like really pretty like delicate like lisianthus it's like a garden yeah. flower that goes really- couldn't you have like <gasps> cut her out 
<laughs> yeah, I could have. Jesus could've. Christ. But it's <laughs> like, do we need the whole description I'm of the name? I'm learning so much about flowers. Can we get yeah. more to the morgasms? Right. And as we're going, you know, <laughs> she's ah, walking damn. me through this walk-in <laughs> fridge. She's, hand, you know, kind of pulling out yeah. a yeah. rose or a flower uh-huh. from each one. And I'm, you know. Baby's she, breath, bells but, of Ireland. Yeah, whatever. Yeah. Wow, Menace. Menace. Well, yeah. he be known. Menace knows this business. That's right. right. Menace's mom was a florist, right? Yeah, still is. St- oh, oh, it still is. It's right. there. Um, which go very nicely with Lily, so I'm just pulling out some dead roses. Yeah. Unfortunately, we don't have a lot of that smell. Um, uh, the farm not <laughs> as good as like the garden roses. It's not even right. beautiful. She wasn't even so listening to me. Like, you know, you could put a couple and roses and lilies just a little together. pop. Yeah. Um, oh, these are tuberoses, which are super deliciously smelly. You might even be able to smell it in here. See, yeah, that it smells great. It's almost like a freesia. Oh, are you getting that? Yeah. yeah. Oh, those are really nice, oh. and really cool. And they, they, they just continuously they open. It's Okay. Wow. Oh so my yeah. God. She never Woo. stopped talking for one Damn. second. Right. She could talk a dog off a meat truck. Yeah. God. Yeah. And Which, she didn't even make a sale with you? you just turned no, she, around and left? Which that was, I had this whole story of like, I'm waiting for my grandpa to die, so I don't want to buy anything today, but like just I could ready. be here any day. Yeah. Uh-huh. So I just want to mm-hmm. see. Uh, so yeah, she. I <laughs> so mean, much false hope. Wow. It, yeah. But, but how do you first, not, like, here's the thing, but like, okay, so I know you're busy talking. How do you not even acknowledge like, the right, noise what's going right. on? Not even a it giggle. Even I, she's pause. just so focused on yeah, the sale. It must be her business. business. Yeah, and I was the only one in there, so I don't know if it's you know mm-hmm. slow, super mm-hmm. slow day. But yeah, as we're walking through the walk-in, she's handing me you know a flower, and as I smell it, she's talking about the next flower. Uh-huh, so uh-huh. it's like, yeah. come right. on, slow down, like, listen right. to me. So yeah. yeah, she was fine. Listen to me, morgasming. <laughs> what <laughs> the hell? Uh-huh. Uh, so next place I went to. This, I think, is the smallest flower shop I, in the whole world because the second I walked in, there's just one fridge door, right? Yeah. And it's this, what I assume, the mom and dad that own it, and their two kids are standing there. Oh. oh. And so the second God. I walk in, there's, like, no room, not even room for me to, like, change my mind and walk out and go to a different <laughs> place. Um. So, yeah, this one was pretty uncomfortable because the children. All right. Hi. Hi. Can I go in the fridge area or no? I can? Okay, cool. Yeah, like it, you could barely walk in. I could ah. barely get a yeah, foot yeah. in there. Yeah, all right. Thank you. Uh-huh. <laughs> oh. Oh, man. Oh, really? I can show you that one so you can smell that yeah, one. Sure. That one's already fresh and hot. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh. Yeah, I do. Yeah. Grandma would love that. Yeah, these are like baskets that we have, or if you want like to make something personalized, mm-hmm. you can do that as well. Normally, for your grandma, uh-huh. Jeez. Oh, my. Like the, uh-huh. like the big uh-huh. Oh, that's really pretty, yeah. yeah. Are you from Ecuador. Are you for a specific day? Or <laughs> well, it's, uh, it's, it'll be for my grandma once my grandfather passes. Oh, so he's got like one foot in the grave. It's okay. He's kind of creep anyways. <gasps> All right. No wow. problem. Shit. All right. Cool. Thank you. <laughs> Like, oh, this lady can. Damn, girl. So yeah, we're right. standing like at the fridge. There's nowhere to go. And so I smell the very few flowers they have. And yeah, she's yeah. kind of like ushering me out the door in a way. So I was like, okay, short and sweet. I'm going to leave. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, um, this person texting over 610, my Lord, I have to go into a meeting and I can't stand up. Freaking Morgan. Yeah, well, Morgan. Sorry. He's really liking it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Darn. At least someone is. Yeah. That first flower lady is not even giving Morgan a chance to get any orgasms in. No. Yeah. Which I could have been louder, I guess. Hmm. All right. How about uh, give me one more? Yeah. Third shop. All right. Another small family business that I ran into. And this, no kids, thank God, here. Just a woman and I assumed to be her husband. Husband didn't say a word to me the whole time, was just staring at me. Nice. So I felt so uncomfortable. Oh, so now you have an audience. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So I guess. <laughs> hmm. Um, so if you see behind me here are these flowers that I brought in. Yep. Yep. I oh, actually from that place. I bought them from this place because I felt so uncomfortable that I felt like I needed to right. <laughs> spend okay. some money there before right. I left. Okay. All right. Here we go. Morgasms. Her awkward moments at the floral shop. Hey. Hey. I have to look 
get some flowers to put you, together an arrangement. Do you want uh, something with a base? Yeah, I think okay. so. Okay, go ahead. So this is the, your selection here, yeah? Yeah, right now. Yes, I want something right. that smells good. Are these smell good? Uh, yeah. yeah. Well, different uh, some flowers is mug. Uh, <laughs> and some no. Okay. Yeah, you know that one. Oh yeah, that one smells really good. Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. <laughs> so what are the prices of these on the bottom? Uh, this is twenty five. Uh -huh. Okay. <laughs> That's not bad. Yeah, when someone tells you the price of something, yeah. you're yeah. so excited. It was, sometimes uh, it's a groan. Sometimes, like, when somebody gives you the price, you go, ugh. Yeah. God, uh, oh. But hey, that was I've way never, cheaper than I was expecting. Yeah, so. I've never had that. Well, yeah, I guess you were very excited. What, what a deal. I was. That one is ready. You want to, to pay some. But if um, you don't want a base, I can fix some for you. Put something together? Yeah. Uh, Carnation, roses, astromelia, uh, mm -hmm. maybe Gerber. <laughs> like that? Yeah, that's perfect, actually. Okay. And this is a pen you want to see. Yay. Okay, thank oh, you. There you go. And you got some nice flowers Yay. on Yay. Yeah, and she stood there nice. as I wrote out the little card, which was sorry, yeah. gr sorry, Grandpa died. Yeah, uh -huh. right. <laughs> Oh, hope Poor he's helping grandma. finish. Yeah. Hope he's very helping finish emotional. without him. Yeah. Yeah. Hard. She actually wrote that on there. Yeah, she and wrote out. Hope these hope hope these help you orgasm without him. Well, you know. Did you write that? Did you have them write that? They write it. I wrote it. Oh, you she, wrote it. In front she's of standing there. I write it down and I hand it to her and she put it in. She the placed it. So I'm pretty yeah. sure she read it. What do you have yeah. in there? Carnations. Uh, I'm not, yeah, menace. God, I yeah. don't know. Rare <laughs> yeah, what are they? That's a terrible uh, bouquet. From over here, I see it's like daisies, carnations. It's very random. Baby's breath. Yeah, baby's it, breath. It's yeah. actually not very well done. It's yeah. not holding up <laughs> no. well. Yeah. Now, Morgan, which one has been out of the three you've done so far? Which one was the most awkward? Nails, the warehouse club, or kids, or oh, flowers? Nails for sure. For sure, because it was the first one. You're mm -hmm. just sitting there. And I'm sitting there with that one lady yeah. and a few other people that walked in later. But yeah, at least like, you know, the warehouse I could walk around. This one I could go to a different place mm -hmm. or right. leave mm -hmm. when it got bad. Yeah, here's a clip from the uh, from the nail salon. This is getting her nails done. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I like that. <laughs> uh. <laughs> and, and the lady... I like the punctuator at the end. Of, uh. <laughs> the poor lady that did my nails was the best response I've gotten of all of these, I yeah, think. Yeah, yeah. She was the one that really, you know... Well, she, she was giving you so much laughing. pleasure. Yeah, she was proud of like, herself. Hurting. All right, well... I'm good. Go. Morgan goes to the flower right. store, everybody. Yeah. yeah. Latest round of Morgan's. Yeah, we were just talking about after having the... Um, the uh, the chiropractor on that might be a good one. Yeah. Morgan goes to the chiropractor, or you know, there's those uh, the Chinese guys at the mall with the chair massages. And I don't. By the way, why is it always Chinese guys? Legit question. I go to them all the time. Mm -hmm. But my question, no matter where I am, doesn't matter what city, what state, or whatever. If there's a massage place at the mall, it's always Chinese dudes. Okay. I, I don't know. Is there a reason for it? <laughs> I'll trust uh, you on that. Ready yeah. no help. Well, uh, well I'm not the room. going to those I'm opening up to the yeah, room. I, I, I think it has to know. do with uh, the style of the way that they do it because isn't there like, there's always like a foot chart. Yeah, but that's just the that's <laughs> no. just the decor. <laughs> they're that's the ones the, they're the ones digging into you with their elbows. Oh, I love they it. They clearly don't know oh, what yeah. they're doing. Oh, that's not true. Because mm, I, I leave there feeling great. I, I got injured like for months. Massage. Yeah, that's it. too hard. Well, they'll do chair or table. Oh, I didn't know they had a table at the mall. Yeah, depends on where you are, but most of them will offer you the chair or the table. I think there's I a reason the they're working at the mall. I have a, well, it's their business, but I, I have a legit question. Like, you know, it's all yeah, I don't it's, know. It's all Chinese dudes, Good and they're question. talking about me. I know they are. But that would it's be like the when you go to the nail place. salon, right? Exactly. They are absolutely talking yeah. about you. I'm like, oh, look how <laughs> fat this guy is. I yeah. can't feel any muscle. Gross. How disgusted are you? How can we hands on his big fat, gross body? Look, my elbow well, disappeared. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. Yeah, see, that's what I need. Somebody on the text give me an idea. Next time I go to one of the um, the Chinese chair massage guys. Mm. Like, they have it at Valencia Town Center. Yeah. There's another one I went to. I like, uh, See, what uh, Ravy critiques about it is what I yeah. like. Any they, mall in America? <laughs> dude, they, they get in there. Mm -hmm. Elbow. Like, it's like basically taking a bat yeah, but to your the, back. I they love don't know. it. They're not educated enough. That's all they're doing is jamming their elbows in you. But it feels good. Like they're getting into the muscles and stuff like that. What is that, 20 minutes? 
Uh, it depends. Whatever you want. Whatever yeah. you want. Yeah. Rate? 10, 20, 40, hour. Whatever. Torture. Yeah. No, it's great. I love <laughs> it. Torture. love it. You I'm seem so an- the- anti-ravy. Have well, you, I got injured with one, and I had to go to physical therapy for like three months. Oh, stop. So my shoulder stopped hurting. I will, uh, I'll even go to the ones at the mall, the, the relax station or whatever it's called. Yeah. Like you see those. Uh, In the middle. Not even not, not like the mall. I mean the, the the airport. Sorry. Oh, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Ah. See him every once in a while there. Nah, dog. Yeah, dog. <laughs> Love. I should. But anyway, so, so out. The thing on the uh, text said I should go and get one of those. Um, uh, that will do, you know translate in real time and just keep an earpiece in my ear so the phone's listening to what they're saying. It'll translate it in real time and I can hear what oh. I can hear him call me fat and gross. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> and if there's a way to record it. You know, uh, on the phone, that'd be that'd be kind of funny. I could bring that in. So they're like, talking it, to other people as you're getting a massage. Everyone, yeah. See, so they're not even focused. I don't care. <laughs> See, if I wanted that, I would go to like the Sage Spa or whatever the hell it's called. It's any like salon. Yeah, um, I would go to the place that charges me four hundred dollars for an hour massage. Not the guy who charges me four dollars for a <laughs> one hour massage. <laughs> you get what you, you pay get. For. What you pay for. Yeah. Uh, well, it's official. Bumble is now giving chicks the option of inviting the dudes to initiate the conversation. It's been talked about, but now it's actually, I guess, uh, it's active. Mm. So the new feature is called Opening Moves, and it lets uh, female users set a prompt which guys can respond to. This sounds like something you might actually be interested in, Seabass, because you can be all witty. (laughs) So here's the example they give. The prompt is, uh, what do you like about my profile? So this gives you a chance to neg right off the bat. Uh, Well, that's true. I've seen this on Bumble. It's one of my faves. It says, uh, you can make it anything you want. But the idea is that you're signaling to the guy that he can initiate the chat. Right. Now, nice. when, when people say that to me, I'm, uh, I'm always not going to respond to them because it's, I know you're not trying. I know you're not interested. I know you're sending this out to a thousand different guys. Uh, I have one on Bumble. Uh, tell me what you think. What animal would you most like to give birth to? <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Let's ask the ladies. Ravy. Something small like a kitten. <laughs> <laughs> Sammy. Uh, a dog. Like a little, oh, yeah, puppy. Okay. And then it would be mine. And then Seabass couldn't be yeah. like, oh, you're not puppy. you're not even a mom to that dog. You didn't yeah, even did birth you give it. birth to it? Right. Yes, I did. Well, yeah. <laughs> as, it is so a, suck it. as it is a farcical question, I would then have yeah, a yeah. playful response. Okay. Mm-hmm. There's also uh, some new other new features like these uh, badges that say what kind of relationship you're looking for. So you'd have like the life partner badge or a fun casual dates badge, things like oh, that. Oh, badges. How fun. Neat. And uh, Bumble also now highlights common interests right at the top of your profile matches. Yes, it's true. They say, oh. they say, well, you say you, things you might be interested in. It has, you know, photography or... Yeah, what, are you, what does yours say? Uh, I used to have, like, joke ones in there. Then I realized I was getting, like, bad matches. It was mm-hmm. like, you know, spa days or something. Mm-hmm. And, right, right. And I get all these basic uh-huh. bitches. Uh, so it's like <laughs> f- comedy, bars, photography, like, you know, stuff like simple stuff. Okay. Long walks on the beach. And no, right. no, no, hi- not hiking. Hiking. Every, every, every insightful know. conversation. Long Reading. talks, yeah. yeah. You should put it, hearing about your day. <laughs> yeah, right. Listening. <laughs> insane clown posse. <laughs> yeah. See, that's the problem. Is I, I would put in the joke ones like insane clown posse and I'd get these maniacs. Yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> I see people. So you, you have to be a little honest about that one. Yeah. I mean, the dating app thing, I, I brought it up again. Like, it seems like it would make it way easier, but it doesn't seem to be the case. Like, in a lot of ways. I guess it depends yeah. on what you're looking for. Compared to like on the, the old school. Apps. No, I'm saying just as, as far as meeting people, it, it's easier for chicks, obviously. You know, guys, I think, seem to yeah. be having the same amount of success. But I think Bumble would be the best one to be on. Yeah. Or Hinge. A lot of people have success on Hinge that what's, I know. What's the thing with Hinge? Like, what's their. It's uh, it's just, it's less because you, you get a very select number of people. Like, on, that's the problem people have with Tinder. Is it's, Tinder still the slam one? Like, if you're just looking uh, to hook up? Yeah, it's, it's, it is. But again, the, the odds are not in your favor. Mm-hmm. But, well, so Hinge is more discerning or what? It's just more, yeah, like intentional, less options. So you, mm. you can't just be like, I'm just on here to swipe and waste. Well, we've heard this from Morgan. I'm, yeah, I have Tinder just to waste just time. To look at yeah, just, just to screw around. So it's like, like Miss Sammy was saying, it's people who actually want to not just have a pen pal, not just look at photos, yeah. want to meet in real, in real life. Okay. Mm. Well, we had a stat recently that. X percent of people meet online nowadays. I, I would think it's 100%. Yeah, it was low. It was like less it was than half. Low. Yeah, really low. Because there used to be so much stigma about it. Now I'm thinking, right. how, do you, how would you not meet somebody online? Because yeah, you, you, you avoid all the, I have a boyfriend. Well, it's great stuff. for people who aren't big into, you know, just going to the bars just to for the sake of meeting yeah, exactly. somebody. Yeah. Like, right. I'll, like I'll go to a bar like for a social thing and people are like, oh, I don't want to meet up. Whatever. Great. Mm-hmm. But like if I'm like, man. Really got to get out there and meet somebody. Like I, I, I just don't know if I would be motivated enough to get up, go out to a bar, 
just to hang around. Talk the to a stranger. Off chance that I might meet yeah. somebody. We go yeah. to like Buffalo Wild Wings because at least you oh, get food. Yeah. Yeah. Go to B Dub. Yeah. Men's Health, by the way, they had this whole thing about um, everything you ever wanted to know about morning wood. Oh. Yeah. Oh, really? I do, I do want to know about I, that. I have so many questions. I wonder okay. why is, that's happening. It is strange. <laughs> okay. Well, it's Tell not me. an instant sign that you're having a lusty dream, they say. Okay. Uh, during REM sleep, there's increased circulation down there. That can give you a, a, a morning boner. Right. Your parasympathetic system is also more active when you're asleep, which can be the cause of that erection. I don't know what that is. <laughs> What's right. a parasympathetic system? Uh, uh, I think uh, something that has to do down there around your wiener. Controls bodily functions. <laughs> controls okay. bodily functions. Yeah. Okay. Nailed it. A healthy adult male will get between three and five boners each night. Wow. Wait. See, I get worried if I wake up without one because I think, oh. uh-oh. That's uh -oh. how often you wake up with a boner? Yeah. almost. Yeah, that's un yeah. Almost daily. Really? And if it's I don't, like you're an addict. If I don't, <laughs> yeah, I'm addicted to getting. Do you one. guys wake up with a boner a um, lot? No, no, no. That I can remember. Best. No, it'll. You know what? Like, um, maybe I'm. There's hard. sometimes I'll wake mm -hmm. up from you know, like not in the middle of the night, not mm -hmm. where I'm getting up in the morning, but like uh, right in the middle of the night, I'm like, no reason boner. Okay. You know, and then you go back to sleep, but there's no dream that you can remember, yeah. nothing like that. Um, or the other time it'll happen is like once you wake up and you start to stretch, I kind of figure it's like, all right, they, they kind of switch the circulation on like because you're waking up and your body's like, all right, we're getting ready to go. And so the circulation starts going and where I didn't wake up with one within like a couple minutes, all of a sudden I'm rocking one. Hmm. You tap your wife on the shoulder and say, uh, you, know she, what, hey, yeah, baby. you know what to do. Yeah, you know what time it is, she girl. She loves it. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. I go, hey, guess what? I said, someone's <laughs> already awake. And she's like, it's so weird. <laughs> she goes, it's cool. Right, I'm going back to bed now. Right. right. You say, don't talk no, about yeah. it. No, dude, that's almost like. Yeah, don't uh, talk about she, it. Be about yeah. it. Yeah. No, stuff that's the thing. It. It's, it's almost like instant, instant happening. Nice. Uh, if it's not happening, Greg, uh -huh. they say it could be a sign of underlying health issues like nerve malfunction, huh? arterial disease, <laughs> hypertension, diabetes, yep. low testosterone. Yep. You're so healthy, So Yeah, right? so you're very healthy. <laughs> I know. That's why I worry when I don't wake up with one. Yeah. A picture of health over here. So this one person in the article was saying that their urologist actually had them uh, wrap a roll of stamps around their unit before they went to sleep to see if they rip apart. As a joke? 